So this is the um, risk that University of Michigan put, uh, University of Michigan Hospital emergency room paramedic staff um, put uh, a plastic uh, wristband with um, printed um, characters that make up my full name and University of Michigan uh, file number uh, out of um, uh, hydrocarbon uh, printer ink. Uh, it would be my uh, my left wrist. And they put this on me every time I, I go there. Um, and somehow it um, activates my electroconductive condition, um, which is related or caused by some type of poisoned, adulterated substance in my body that they seem to have something to do with and some interest to cover up um, and to keep me f from loading um, videos. Um, of my experiences there at the emergency room hospital. Um, and somehow um, they're able to, I've, after this irradiated band is put on my wrist and affects my condition, um, have the hospital um, police uh, security uh, send radio command, hack commands um, through my body um, while I'm holding my smart device as I am now um, to hack command my device, preventing me from uploading videos. And, um, sometimes they, um, they delete videos that I already have in storage, um, or they, um, you know, uh, corrupt my device and interrupt and interfere with, um, my electronic communication, um, with the internet using the, um, the the guest m m guest um internet wi-fi service that's provided by the university of michigan as a whole and specifically by the university of michigan medical system
So when I put it around my head right now, it does get a signal. Now when I take it away from my head, it doesn't. When I put it up to my wrist, it's not getting a signal uh, with my wrist. Mm -hmm. But if I put this phone up to my... I can kind of see it at the corner of my eye, even though it's still in, touching the top of my head. So, um, and the hair on the top of my head. So, um, I'm told that could have something to do with the cadmium that was in my system, but cadmium has a radioactive version of it or isotope. Um, so, uh, but it could be a number of things. Um, uh, I've been, I've been, it's been expressed to me that I've been poisoned with something called promethium, which turns into um, neodymium um, metal, uh, which is a, an electro, highly electroconductive um, um, metal that's used to make superconductors and generators. Um, so it, it eventually decays to that. Um, and then apparently um, this remains in the, um, the sinus fluid of a body um, somehow, even, even though the majority of it is, is, excrete, is excreted through um, urine and feces. And then um, that sinus um, fluid makes up our tears, it makes up um, our, our snot, our expectorant, uh, and it makes up our earwax. Uh, hold on. <laughs> and this is how, apparently, uh, University of Michigan students um, contribute with NRA police and um, University of Michigan police officers in um, hacking my devices. That they they somehow can send some remote um, microwave energy signal. Um, or just by producing it in the area, somehow maybe it's drawn through my ear or it can direct it to my ear. And um, Maybe they have knowledge of the frequency that would be required um, uh, to, to interface with this neodymium metal, you know, isotope uh, product uh, of the decay of um, a radioactive uh, promethium, which comes in a metallic form, but also in um, a glowing salt crystal form, which could be sprinkled on any edible and potable, right? Really? Um, yes, it, it sounds, it sounds, sounds sci-fi, sounds unheard of, sounds ridiculous, it sounds frightening, it sounds all of that shock, shocking, but this is a university town. Um, and uh, it's not um, it's not MIT, it's not Harvard, it's not Yale, it's not Stanford. Um, uh, there may be um, uh, some average intelligence here, uh, but what is um, most reflected is an academic environment community that um, is not only incompetent at producing something original for the purpose of helping humanity and, and aiding in this development, but um, but in uh, misusing and mishandling um, dangerous materials, hazardous materials, radioactive materials, uh, and and. Um, not 
having a, a lack of, of um, necessary, adequate, astute ethics by which uh, to safeguard uh, dangerous research and instrumentation and materials used for that purpose uh, from harming the public in general. And that is a um, higher institution uh, not worthy of uh, the endowment that it receives um, for that purpose. So, um, and it's a shame um i you know i i once um i once um had a lot of faith in the university of michigan education si system I, I studied at the university of michigan dearborn um I aspired to study here at the University of Michigan Ann Arbor. Um, the buildings, the campus, um, the endowment, uh, uh, everything that one sees from the outside uh, comes across as impressive. 